We'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Morgan, you guys are up 5-1. What, what happened there late in the second and, and allowed them to get back in the game in the third? Uh, yeah, obviously a late goal for them was a big boost. Um, you know, we have a chance to regroup in between periods, and um, you know, I thought that we did that, but obviously they came out and to get their third was a big one, and uh, I mean, the rest is history. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Morgan, uh, it hasn't been a great season for Ottawa, at least in the in the win column, but they've played you guys tight now every game. What stands out to you about what they've been bringing to the tables and opponents so far this year? Yeah, that's how our games go against them. Typically, they're always close. I mean, they play hard. They're a good team. They're well coached. Uh, they play good defensively and, and they compete. So, I mean, um, I don't think we took them lightly at all. I don't think we ever have. I don't think we take any team lightly in this league. And um, that's just the way it goes. I mean, they're pros over there. They're really competitive. And um, I expect that two more times here in the next couple of days. And last one here, we'll go to Dave McCarthy, NHL.com. Go ahead, Dave. Morgan, what's the uh, key to making sure you're able to move past a game like this quickly? Yeah, I think we take advantage of tomorrow. Um, we regroup. We put this behind us. Uh, and we take the good things and hopefully carry them over. And we move on from the bad things. Um, I mean, we got a lot of hockey left to play, two games coming up. And then we go back to Montreal. And so there's lots on our plate. I think it's important that, I mean, we talk about things here tonight. And we move on tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks, Morgan. Thank you. First up, we'll go to Lance Hornby, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Lance. A tough one, obviously. John, uh, how did that game get away from you guys? Yeah, obviously, we just uh, we gave a couple, couple shorties that uh, gave them some life. And, you know, I thought we, we did some good things in the third as they, uh, you know, they closed it within one. Um, you know, we were... Uh, Getting some good pucks behind the goal line and and uh, uh, having some good offenses on time and making sure that uh, they come 200 feet. Obviously, uh, they found a way to tie it late and um, you know three on three. You know, Mo had a great look. They, they they made a hell of a block and unfortunately went the other way against us. And uh, how tough it is it to uh, to get some secondary scoring going on this team at this point? Yeah, I don't think that's the the issue for the game tonight. So um, you know, we got to do a better job. Uh, with a lead like that, the amount of goals uh, we had tonight, but certainly I think, uh, um, you know, we want to uh, uh, have all lines contributing and, and uh, uh, being impactful, uh, all three zones, uh, defensively and offensively. All right, I see no more hands. Thanks, John. Go ahead, Mark. Joe, what happened after you guys went up 5-1 to, that allowed Ottawa to get back in this one? Uh I think the shorthand goals um, allowed them back in the game. Um, we were doing a lot of good things, but, uh, you know, we, we just got to be a little bit tighter defensively. But, you know, we had our chances to, to finish that game off. We never did. And um, with, with those two, uh, two shorties that they got, kind of turned the game around. In general, how did you feel in your first game back uh, after the injury? I felt great. I really did. Uh, I thought our line was moving the puck well, generating some offense, um, but felt really good. Next up, we'll go to Terry Koshan, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Terry. Hey, Joe, uh, taking these things into consideration, what has to change, do you think, uh, Wednesday night when you see the Senators again? I think uh, early on in the first, you know, I think that's how we got to play for a full 60 minutes, just attack, you know, put them on their heels, uh, get pucks deep. You know, it's that's how we like to play um, and look after Freddie. You know, we haven't been doing a really good job of, of looking after Freddie. Freddie's been back one of this team all year long, and we got to protect him a little bit more. Thanks. And last one here, we'll go to Chris Johnson, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, Joe. I'm just wondering, things have gone so well or been going so well for the guys. You know, do you think a loss like this will will last just, just the way it was, 5-1? No, no. Uh, new day tomorrow. Um, I'm sure we'll look at some film tomorrow, but uh, um, tomorrow's a new day. We'll work on some stuff and, and be ready for Wednesday. Thanks, Joe.